economy is going to turn around in a, a year or two years. I think it's going to take quite, quite longer to get the economy started. Uh, yeah, it's affecting me, but I'm counting on uh, going to Road World or uh, to uh, Road Warrior type scenario where I'm going to rule the wasteland afterwards. Well, the retirement savings are just about gone. Uh, uh, Barack Obama and his people, I don't think they're quite sure what they need to do. I think they're giving it their best shot. And since he won the election, I think he's entitled to try it his way. If you watch the news and listen to Obama, this country's about to burn. But in reality, if you look around, people are working, things are doing, things are going on. I don't know what the hell is going to happen. Things are bad, too much greed. Got to get the old guys out, get some new blood in there, get the Goldman guys out of the Treasury, out of the Fed, start with some new blood. The NBA's have ruined this business. Well, it's not as bad as people say it is. It's pretty screwed up. Uh, and actually, I should say it's pretty fucked up because what's really going on is not what's being told. What's going on in here is a lack of confidence. Hold on, bro. sorry about that. Hold on for one second. Hello? I, I don't know, I, as a Republican and a guy who is in sales who, and who works for himself, I feel if you work a little bit harder, tighten your belt up, that you'll be okay. Good as you. you know, if the rich get less rich, that's not a really a big deal, but I just don't want to see the poor suffer. But the you know, the poor can suffer in a good economy probably just as easy as they can in a bad. And people losing jobs. I'm happy I still have a job. We're going to be fine. I think everybody should put down the newspaper, close, change CNN, change, change MSNBC, and ultimately get to work and do for yourself. That's what I think. Yeah, because I have to actually hold down a couple of jobs. <laughs> so, yeah, we're making it that. We're making it happen. Yeah, I was actually affected, lost my job uh, last November. So, because I got laid off of my job, so I'm collecting unemployment, and that don't really do much. I have two kids. I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Everybody is suffering off of that. It's, it's really hard right now. It's hard for everything, food, everything. You know, it's, it's just become real hard for everybody right now. It's just really hard right now. Well, I think it's a lot worse than we actually realized. A lot of belt tightening over everything. Everything that you know you used to take for granted, you can't take for granted now. You have to really check twice. Well, the economy affected me because I've been laid off. You know, it's hard to find a job at this point here. I mean, it's affecting everybody. I think it's gonna get better. It feels better. It's not the, the recession, it's not really affecting me because I'm a sufferer. Also because right now there is a bit of, how do you say, um, cutbacks in Medicaid. Because it's written in the Bible, so it's gonna get worse. You know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm on domicile, but I, you know, sometimes think my mom's, homeless. you know, and, um, and right now, I, right now, I'm in a three-quarter home. It's horrible. It's a horrible way to live. Thank you very much.